Hello and welcome to this video about aging. In this video, we will explore the theories and knowledge about aging and showcase examples from the animal world where death from old age does not exist or is significantly delayed. First, we'll take a look at sea hydras. Researchers have been studying these organisms for their unique ability to renew stem cells and rejuvenate their bodies. This grants them a form of immortality and offers potential means of treating age-related diseases. Unlike other organisms, hydras do not die from old age, but only from external factors such as predation or harsh environmental conditions. Additionally, they possess an extraordinary capacity for regeneration, able to regrow entire individuals from just a few cells. They can reproduce sexually or grow their own clones if necessary. Next, we will examine salmon and the role of the European pearl mussel in preventing their premature aging and death. After spawning, salmon typically die due to irreversible processes linked to steroid hormones. However, the pearl mussel, which can live up to 200 to 250 years, and its larvae intervene in this process by secreting specific substances that help to ensure that the fish does not die after spawning. This allows the Atlantic salmon to spawn multiple times and live much longer, while being more resistant to adverse factors. From these examples, we can see that nature offers some methods for stopping or delaying aging. Another key aspect of aging is telomeres, the protective caps at the end of DNA strands. Some researchers believe that prolonging telomeres through telomerase, an enzyme that restores telomeres, could potentially lead to a longer lifespan. However, in humans, telomerase is only active during embryonic development and in a limited number of adult cells. Here we begin to ponder whether by extending telomeres, we can remain forever young? In recent years, a significant amount of research has been conducted on the impact of telomeres, the protective caps at the end of chromosomes, on the aging process. The idea that the lengthening of telomeres could potentially slow or even reverse the aging process has been the subject of much speculation, and clinical trials are ongoing to investigate the potential benefits of telomer-based therapies. One such individual who has drawn attention for self-administering a telomer-lengthening therapy is Elizabeth Parrish, the CEO of a biotechnology company. Ms. Parrish claims to have administered the therapy to herself and reports experiencing increased energy and physical capabilities, with her telomeres lengthening to the point of appearing biologically younger. However, it is important to note that these claims have yet to be independently verified by scientific means and should be viewed with caution until further research has been conducted. While the possibilities of telomer-based therapies hold much promise, it is crucial that any potential treatment undergo rigorous scientific evaluation before they are made available to the public. Until then, any claims made about the effectiveness of telomer-based therapies should be met with a healthy dose of skepticism. Understanding the key mechanisms of aging, the role of oxidative stress, protein quality, mitochondrial dysfunction, and more. Aging is a complex and multifactorial process that is influenced by both genetic and environmental factors. While genetics have been estimated to account for around 20% of the aging process, the majority, over 80%, is determined by external factors such as lifestyle, nutrition, physical activity, and exposure to environmental toxins. Researchers have identified several key mechanisms that contribute to age-related declines in organ and system function. One of the most well-studied mechanisms is oxidative stress, which results from metabolic reactions and the production of reactive oxygen species ROS, also known as free radicals. These molecules can cause damage to cellular macromolecules, leading to the development of age-related diseases. Factors such as stress, hypoxia, radiation, and deficiencies in essential nutrients can all contribute to the accumulation of excessive levels of ROS in the body. Another important mechanism is the deterioration of protein quality, which results from the non-enzymatic modification of proteins by sugars, a process known as glycation. This can result in the loss of protein function and elasticity, as well as slowing down cellular nutrition. Additionally, 
the accumulation of abnormal proteins over time can lead to dysfunction and deterioration of the body's building materials. Mitochondrial dysfunction is also a key contributor to aging, as mitochondria are responsible for cellular respiration and the synthesis of adenosine triphosphate ATP, the primary energy currency of cells. However, during this process, mitochondria also generate a large number of ROS which can damage the connection between the cell and the mitochondria, leading to either cell death or cellular aging which interferes with normal tissue function. Other factors that contribute to the aging process include errors in cell replication and DNA repair, disruption of the epigenetic process of methylation, depletion of stem cells, accumulation of toxins, and deficiency of essential vitamins and minerals. Further research is needed to understand these mechanisms and develop strategies to slow or even reverse the aging process. Stages of aging Aging is a gradual process that is characterized by the decline of various physiological functions and increased susceptibility to age-related diseases. Researchers have identified several key stages of aging, each marked by specific changes in the body. The first stage of aging, which typically begins around age 45, is characterized by a decline in reproductive function. At this stage, the body's ability to produce and maintain reproductive cells begins to decrease. The second stage, which occurs around age 60, is marked by a decline in tissue regeneration and cell division. As a result, individuals at this stage are at an increased risk for the development of chronic diseases. The third stage of aging, which typically begins around age 75, is characterized by a decline in extracellular structures of tissue and a loss of protective barriers in cells. This further increases susceptibility to chronic diseases and declines in overall health. Strategies for slowing the aging process, an overview of positive thinking, hygiene, healthy diet, rejection of bad habits and constant movement. An overview of positive thinking. The psychological state of optimism has been linked to several health benefits, including reduced stress and increased immune function. A study published in 2019 found that individuals who maintain a positive outlook on aging have an increased life expectancy, with an 11 to 15 percent higher chance of living to age 85 or older. This association persisted even after controlling for confounding variables such as age, gender, income, depression, and health status. Furthermore, individuals who maintain a positive outlook on aging tend to possess a stronger will to live, increased resistance to disease and improved physical activity levels. Additionally, a lower stress levels further reduces the risk of developing chronic diseases or disorders. Hygiene Personal hygiene is an important factor in maintaining overall health and longevity. Studies have shown a correlation between poor hygiene practices and an increased incidence of illness and chronic diseases. In regions with limited access to sanitation, a lack of personal hygiene has been linked to an increase in illnesses, such as diarrhea and respiratory infections. A study conducted by the Centers for Disease Control CDC, found that providing soap and encouraging hand washing significantly reduced these types of illnesses. Poor hygiene can also lead to the development of chronic conditions, such as periodontitis and gum disease. The accumulation of bacteria in the mouth can lead to infections that can spread to other parts of the body, including the heart. Maintaining proper oral hygiene, including brushing teeth twice daily and flossing, can help prevent these types of infections. Healthy Diet a healthy diet has been shown to play a significant role in the maintenance of overall health and longevity. It is well established that a diet rich in vitamins and minerals can provide a variety of health benefits, including the ability to combat oxidative stress through the consumption of foods high in antioxidants. One study, conducted in 2017 by Imperial College London, recommended consuming a minimum of 10 servings of fruits and vegetables per day in order to achieve optimal antioxidant benefits. These fruits and vegetables can include, but are not limited to, prunes, raisins, blackberries, blueberries, garlic, kale, strawberries, raspberries, spinach, Brussels sprouts, 
beets, and broccoli. To maximize the effectiveness of antioxidant intake, it is also recommended to vary the selection of fruits and vegetables consumed on a daily basis, as the antioxidant compounds present in these foods work in synergy. Additionally, it is important to limit the consumption of prooxidant foods, such as grilled foods, high glycemic foods, such as instant noodles, rice, cereals, and sodas, which can increase oxidative stress. It also recommended to consume red meat at a maximum of once a week due to the iron it delivers increases oxidation. Rejection of bad habits. Adopting healthy behaviors, such as abstaining from smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, maintaining a healthy body weight and engaging in regular physical activity, has been shown to increase life expectancy by up to 10 years according to a study published in 2020 in the journal BMJ. The study, which examined a sample of 38,000 men and 73,000 women aged 50, found that women who adopted healthy behaviors and abstained from detrimental ones, on average gained more than 10 years of disease-free life, while men gained approximately 8 years. Constant movement. Physical activity is not only a way to lose weight or have fun, but also a guarantee of health and longevity. There is a wealth of scientific evidence showing the benefits of exercise for longevity. In 2006, three researchers made a synthesis of studies on this topic. They were able to show that men suffer more from disease and die prematurely due to inactivity. Other research suggests that the loss of autonomy seen before age 70 is mostly due to a sedentary lifestyle rather than aging of the body itself. Some of them even point out that regular exercise helps prevent declines in immune function. Even just walking for an hour a week can cut your risk of dying prematurely from a stroke by a third. This is especially true even for those who have already suffered from heart problems. Physical activity benefits not only the heart, but also the brain. Research has linked moderate physical activity to a reduction in the irreversible aging of brain tissue. Thus, the more physically developed a person is, the more protected his brain will be. Scientists have also shown that physical activity, like strength training, anaerobic, slows the loss of bone density associated with aging and helps reduce the risk of fatal falls. Overall, it improves functional independence, mobility, balance, and quality of life. Therefore, 30 minutes to 2 hours of moderate physical activity per day is highly recommended to maintain muscle mass, strengthen bones, and tone the heart and lungs. However, be careful not to overdo it, intense sports make the body rusty, because it increases the amount of oxygen inhaled and the production of free radicals tenfold. This is why high-level athletes are the privileged victims of oxidative stress. So, in physical activity it is important to observe the measure. Mental load. Recent studies have shown that cognitive exercise can have a significant impact on maintaining brain health and cognitive function in older adults. These types of activities can potentially increase lifespan of cognitive function by up to 10 years. Examples of cognitively stimulating activities include solving puzzles, playing chess, learning a new language, or picking up a new skill. Research has shown that sexual activity is positively associated with longevity. A survey of centenarians living in so-called blue zones found that over 80% were sexually active between the ages of 65 and 100. A study published in 2016 found that frequency of orgasm in women had a significant positive correlation with reduced mortality from cardiovascular disease. The positive effects on health may be attributed to the release of oxytocin, a hormone that is known to have numerous health benefits. In conclusion, we must remember that there is still much that we don't understand about the aging process and its causes. But, with ongoing research, we hope that in the future, we will be able to improve overall health and increase life expectancy. While it may seem that as we solve one set of problems, new and more complex challenges arise, this should not discourage us. Instead, we must continue to push forward and trust in the power of science to improve our lives.
So, let's stay healthy, strive for beauty, and work towards maintaining our youth as long as possible. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new. Stay up to date with advanced knowledge and subscribe to our channel.